Hello my lovely creative friends, today we have a special video because I just purchased this set of jelly gouache and that's the box of 56 colors. Of course I had to have them all, of course. <laughs> Do I even need to explain this? I know you understand why, so I won't explain why. But um, I thought it'd be fun to just have a look at them together because it's something that's intrigued me for a while. And I've been thinking about them for a little while and I found a good um, price on them. So I decided just to take the plunge and go for it. So I thought I'd just share this uh, unboxing video with you so you can have a look and discover them with me because I have not opened this box yet. I just took it out of the plastic in the main packaging and that's it. So um, the box is actually pretty heavy. Like it's got, uh, I'd say it's probably like a good, I don't know, maybe two and a half, three kilos, something like that. So it's heavy, <laughs> but it comes in a really sturdy case. Um, I'm trying to show you everything here. It's a bit hard to, because it's quite big. As you can see, this is my glass, my Tim Holtz uh, glass media mat, the large size. And this is the size of the box. So that gives you an idea of sizing. Um, so yeah, there's a lid on the top and some really strong clips. And what's cool about this is also has some handles so you can carry it really easily and very safely. Nothing's moving. So pretty pleased so far. And the clips feels very strong. So let's have a look, shall we? Ta-da! Ooh, so exciting. So the inside of the lid has got a plastic kind of foam backing, which is good. Because it will keep all these little pots in place. Let's see what's this little postcard. Ooh, the color chart. Here you go. All the colors. You know what I mean? This is why I needed to have them all. And here we go. Ooh, so excited. Which one do we start with? Let's go with here. So they come in little pots like this. And they're about, I'm just guessing, maybe 30, um, three centimeters across by maybe two, roughly, and maybe two high, approximately. And they're all 30 mil. Each little pot is 30 mil. So there's heaps of paint in there. This is going to last me for a long, long time. So I'm going to just peel off all um those pieces and i'll be right back with you because that's going to take a little while let's go for it Okay, and I'm done. Whew. Well, that was a little bit of a hand and finger workout, I suppose, but um, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, so most of the lids or foils peeled off fairly easily. Some of them were a little bit more tricky, but you've got four corners to peel off from, so it's not too bad in the end. So you've noticed that I've got um, some of the lids have a bit of paint left on them. Instead of trying to scrape it up and put it back in each pot, which was I tried at first and it was getting a bit messy. I decided to put them on the side. And of course, I will be using all those uh, bits of leftover paints later on. Of course, I never waste any paint if I can. So first impressions. Wow. The color selection is amazing. And I love that there's also a couple of fluoros. There's a fluoro pink here, fluoro green here. This is not a fluoro yellow, but it's a pretty nice yellow. So I love most of the colors and the reason why I got also the larger set was so I could have more of that choice. Um, there are some colors I probably wouldn't use myself, like that army green and these two colors, probably the brown. Um, it's not really in my color palette, but you never know. So, so far I'm super excited about all those colors that just look beautiful i'll just show them to you up close so you can see all that yummy goodness and such a beautiful rainbow of colors just looking at this makes me super happy i just want to eat them <laughs> they do look like you could eat them 
Oh, here you go. Yum, delicious. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, well, now I guess we should just swatch them. Who doesn't love a good swatching session, huh? So, all right, let's go for it. swatched all the colors now apart from the two whites of course um, but that hop that gives you an idea of the color selection in there I'm pretty happy with all the colors in there so far lots of colors that I love love this fuchsia love this um, green here thaler green this thaler blue beautiful purples love the yellow selection of this green love all of the greens actually <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I love all the blues. I love all the colors. So, um, they're not exactly, well, they're pretty much, you know, just forget the bottom line here, which is actually here because I ran out of space. But, um, if you look at, um, these colors here, they correspond to this column, second, third, fourth, and so on. So it gives you an idea of how they look in the pans or the little pots and how they look swatched. So I hope that this has been useful for you if it's something that you were thinking maybe of buying for yourself. So far, like I said, I'm pretty happy with all, all the colors, um, how pigmented they are and the color selection. Uh, one thing that I might do uh, because I was thinking of getting those or using those when I'm traveling is transfer all those colors into a smaller palette and create a little travel palette for myself because that's pretty heavy um, and not that practical to carry around. Um, even if you're painting outside, it's a bit much, I'd say. So I would recommend doing that. Just buy an empty palette and transfer all the a little bit of all the colors into little wells and that would be much more portable but this would be great for studio use for sure just leave it on your table and it's right there ready to go when you need it so like i said i hope that you found this useful and enjoyable if you did do leave me a comment and a like um, let me know that you've enjoyed this and i will see you in another video very soon thanks guys see you soon bye